Hi everyone, Erica from Aloft here, and today I wanted to walk you through how to compliantly operate a UAS under Part 107 during civil twilight and night in controlled and uncontrolled airspace. As you likely already know, on January 15th, 2021, the FAA published its final rule for remote identification of unmanned aircraft in the Federal Register. The final rule included changes to the existing requirements for operating UAS at night as well as operations over people. Effective as of April 21st, 2021, all Part 107 pilots who have passed the new recurrent training course and exam are eligible to operate at night or in civil twilight or civil sunset in controlled airspace with a valid lands authorization. As of August 11th, 2021, the updated version of Lance was released on the Aloft platform. This allows you to apply for a Lance authorization during nighttime hours directly on the Aloft app. Here are the steps you will need to take to compliantly operate your drone at night in controlled airspace. Have a valid Lance authorization at or below the approved altitude in the UAS facility maps for your operational time. Have a current Part 107 certification and complete the updated recurrent online training. Watch the video tutorial to learn more about this linked in the description of this video. Or you will have had to have passed the Unmanned Aircraft General Small Airman Knowledge Test on or after April 6th of 2021. Lastly, you'll need to be equipped with operational anti-collision lights, which can be seen from three statue miles and have a flash rate sufficient to avoid a collision. For example, let's say I have a project where I need to operate my drone from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. Pacific time in class D controlled airspace surrounding KBFI in Seattle, Washington. Because my operational area is in controlled airspace, before beginning my operations, I would be required to apply for a Lance authorization from 6.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. The video seen here shows an example of how to easily apply for a Lance authorization for night operations on the Aloft app. You will also need to have a current Part 107 certification and have completed the updated recurrent online trading or have passed the unmanned aircraft general small airman knowledge test on or after April 6, 2021, and be equipped with operational anti-collision lights, which can be seen for up to three statue miles and have a flash rate significant to avoid a collision. To avoid interruption of your operations, I recommend turning on your anti-collision light and establishing a night landing area that is illuminated by lights prior to sunset. If you have never operated a UAS at night, here are a few tips to ensure your operation is safe and FAA compliant. One, remember night operations are categorized as any operation which takes place between evening and morning civil twilight. Evening civil twilight starts at sunset until 30 minutes after sunset. And morning civil twilight is the period of 30 minutes prior to sunrise until sunrise. For example, Sunset at my location is 8.04 p.m. and sunrise is 6.15 a.m. So if I'd like to operate my drone anytime between 8.04 p.m. today and 6.15 a.m. tomorrow, I will need to abide by the rules and regulations of night slash civil twilight operations. On the Aloft app, you can view when sunset is at any location on the map under the pre-flight info bar and then daylight which as you can see here is 8.04 p.m. today. Another tip is to look five to 10 degrees off center of your UAS to help compensate for night blind spots, which are the loss of sharpness, color, depth perception, and judgment of size in the center of your field of vision at nighttime. Three, avoid looking at bright lights after adapting to the darkness of your operational area. Four, it is strongly recommended, especially if you are new to night operations, to designate one or more visual observers to scan for other aircraft or obstacles during your operation. A visual observer does not have to be a certified Part 107 pilot to assist with visual observation of a UAS operation. Five, establish a night landing area that is illuminated by lights. Six, immediately land your UAS if you cannot determine its location relative to another aircraft. Seven, 
Always make sure your anti-collision light is on and visible up to three miles away to maintain FAA compliance and aid in the visibility of the aircraft before takeoff. There are many companies that sell aftermarket lighting solutions for popular drone brands. One brand with a good reputation is LumiCube, which is the type of anti-collision light seen here on my drone. You can learn more about LumiCube's anti-collision light solutions by clicking the link in the description of this video. I hope you found this information useful and best of luck on your night operations. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our team at support at aloft.ai. As always, fly safe and fly often.